direttamente dagli studi del de letto di casa mia e con l'iPhone perché mi si è rotta la videocamera proprio oggi. Sono tornata con un nuovo video sulle differenze culturali, questa volta differenze culturali Italia-Giappone. Ho chiesto al mio caro amico Sunao di pensare a qualche domanda che lui ha in quanto giapponese per noi italiani. Premetto, lui non è mai stato in Italia, però comunque noi siamo amici da un po' e parliamo spesso, quindi secondo me to a certain extent conosce un po' di cultura italiana, però sono curiosa di vedere le domande a cui ha pensato. Se non vi volete perdere i video che già abbiamo fatto insieme in persona quando ero ancora a Tokyo, ve li metto qui sopra così you can check it out. Prima però vi rubo un minuto di tempo per parlare dello sponsor di oggi, Cambly. È dicembre, il 2023 è quasi terminato, stiamo già pensando al 2024, stiamo già pensando agli obiettivi, ai buoni propositi del 2024. Se tra questi obiettivi c'è quello di migliorare il vostro inglese, c'è Cambly, perché per questo mese, con il mio codice sconto, Cambly offre uno sconto gigante sui piani annuali, il 60%. Questo vuol dire che un mese di lezione viene meno di 10 euro. Diciamo che il prezzo è davvero imbattibile, soprattutto se si pensa a quello che si riceve. Non solo si riceve lezioni con tutor madrelingua, che sono sempre disponibili perché sono disponibili 24 ore su 24, 7 giorni su 7, 365 giorni l'anno. Puoi fare lezione proprio in completa comodità dal cellulare, dal computer, a casa tua, in macchina, in ufficio, molto flessibile. In più, Cambly offre tanti servizi gratuiti, esercizi, booklet di lessico, l'intelligenza artificiale, si chiama Cam AI, che ti fa fare conversazione, ti corregge proprio come se fosse un tutor, che ti aiuta tanto a scioglierti. Quindi diciamo che quello che ricevi per il prezzo è più, più che competitivo. A me piace Cambly perché puoi fare lezione in maniera rilassata, tranquilla. L'insegnante ti ascolta, vede qual è innanzitutto il tuo livello, però anche il tuo obiettivo, se è un colloquio, il lavoro, se è guardare film in lingua originale, perché ti piace guardare film in lingua originale e adatta le lezioni a seconda del tuo obiettivo e del tuo livello. Vi ricordo però che lo sconto è valido solo fino alla fine di dicembre, quindi se già sapete che per il 2024 volete già direttamente iniziare adesso perché iniziano le vacanze di Natale, non ve lo fate scappare. Inoltre, se volete provare il servizio, una lezione di prova che dura 30 minuti costa un euro. Check it out, io comunque metto il link qui sotto. E adesso direi di tornare al video con il nostro... Facciamogli un grande applauso, anzi io lo faccio io perché... Sono! Hey guys, I'm back. Thanks for having me again, Sonia. Thank you for being here. So now I miss eating sushi in Japan with you. So eating sushi, not like missing me, huh? <laughs> Are you sure you can represent Italians? <laughs> no, but I'll do my best. Okay, my first question. This is gonna be a big question for Japanese. Do you use spoon to eat pasta? No, <laughs> I don't use it. None of my family members does. I have seen though some yeah, Italians yeah. Like, use it. Like this. I'd say that most people don't. You don't need it. Like a fork is enough. I have to admit in Japan, multiple times I have eaten pasta with chopsticks. Is it rude to slurp pasta? That's right. How can you eat pasta with chopsticks without slurping? Well, usually what I do is I... <laughs> Which is how I eat in ramen. Japanese noodles, I cannot slurp. I'll choke. That looks like a bird, birds or fed, like... I don't know what it looks like. Okay. When Italians go to Japan, they are so surprised when they go to a ramen shop because that sound of slurping would be so rude in Italy. A little annoying sometimes if you're not used to it, you know? <laughs> like... It's not like that, more like... Okay, next question. Italians seem sexually way more open than Japanese. <laughs> What's the ratio of couples cheating? I have no idea what the ratio is. According to a survey, one out of five people cheat in Japan. Men are 26.5%, women 15.2%. In Japan? In Japan. Yeah, because going with a prostitute is not cheating in Japan. Depends on. That def definitely cheating. depends on girls. Like some girls are gonna be Pissed. That's cheating! And so many girls in Japan are okay with that. Not so many. If you ask them like, would you accept your boyfriend is going to prostitute instead of cheating on you with a girl, then they might say, uh, yeah. But if you just ask them, is it okay if your boyfriend goes to prostitute? I think 60 or 70 percent of girls would say no. 60! In Italy? That'd be like 98 percent of the people who are like... <laughs> Kill it. 
to my defense, it's getting popular. Girls going to prostitutes to here now. <laughs> Sounds fair. Yeah, why, 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 Good. And <laughs> just to let you know, if I ever have a Japanese boyfriend, I'll be super clear about not cheating with a sex worker. Okay, let's get back to my question. What is the ratio of couple cheating? It's okay that it's your personal opinion, but do you think Italians cheat more than Japanese? Or Japanese cheat more than Italians? I think it's the same, to be honest. I think we cheat a lot and I don't believe that like 26% of people cheat. I think it's more like 50, probably closer to 50% because that's statistics. People are not honest. A lot of people cheat everywhere in the world. But your smile. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> cheats. Don't you guys get any ham towel in restaurants? <laughs> That's such a Japanese question! <laughs> yeah, I'm no. Japanese! No, okay, maybe you'd get a hand warm cloth at a spa. You gotta clean what? your hands before eating. How do you clean your hands with a hand towel? You go to the bathroom and you wash your hands. So everybody goes to the bathroom before eating? <laughs> to be honest? The bathroom ha must be packed in Italy then. Very germaphobe. Okay, maybe people don't know, but whenever you go to Japan, they give you, depending on the restaurant, either a very nice towel, like a towel, little towel, all rolled up. If it's winter, it's warm. If it's summer, it's cold. And you clean your hands, it's so nice. But even in the like shittier restaurant, they at least give you like a wet paper towel, something, yeah. you know? Please wash your hands before eating. Well, <laughs> COVID, I have to say, we all have hand sanitizers usually in our bags. Really? Can we see a doctor easily when you catch a cold? Yeah, yeah, yes, because in Italy you're assigned to a public doctor. So depending on where assigned. you live. Assigned. So you have you your private doctor, you mean? You have your doctor. Usually. You have your doctor. That sounds cool. Yeah, I mean, a oh, doctor. He's my boy. He's my boy. It's really good because they know you. And if they think you should see a specialist or go to the hospital, they will tell you. If he or or she's bad doctor, you can can you change it? Yeah. Oh, okay. But how does it work in Japan? Because I also like the way it works in Japan. You just go to a clinic. You can pick your doctor. It's good because you can see a doctor right away, but sometimes you don't see the same doctor. Yeah, but you gotta report your health history. I honestly like, I like Japan, how it works. It's cheap. You have like insurance. It's pretty much 70% poverty by insurance. And 30%. Okay, yeah, that was my question. 30%. For me, it was covered at first by my school and then by my company. But like, if you are unemployed, Employed and you don't go to school, who's covering that 30%? By yourself. Yeah, but what if it's like a very expensive surgery or something no, like no. that? Uh, if you started working for yourself, there is a house insurance run by government. If you're a kid, like your parents or like adults pay for it. And if you're not married, let's say, okay, I'm a stay at home mom, but I'm not married. So I'm not working and I'm not married. Do I have to cover that 30% myself? It depends on how much you make annually, but if it's less than 1 million 300,000 yen or something. It's like uh, you can say that you're with your husband. I don't know how to say it in English, but you're in a household, yeah. you know? Is it rude to take off our shoes in public? Where would you take off your shoes? For on example, the on, yeah, on a train, if your ride is long, one hour, 30 minutes, take off your shoes and get comfortable sometimes. Or in theater, if you're watching a movie, you want to get comfortable, you take off your shoes. That's road. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's road. And honestly, whenever I see that in Japan, I'm like, that's road, you're not at home. And I'll do it in your house. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Feet don't smell. Yeah. Italian feet sometimes smell. Why do you guys have two toilets in your bathroom? Oh, you mean the bidet? Yeah, that's the one. That's not a toilet. That's the bidet. That's the that best. That looks like a toilet. <laughs> that's the best thing ever. Okay, I know in Japan you have the bidet in your yes. toilet, but yeah. Italian bidet it's an upgrade because you can use soap. You can wash your. You body. can use your soap if you want to use in Japan. We just don't use. It's very uncomfortable. Why do you have to have two toilets? That's you so have face. You can ride your bidet better and wash yourself better. Trust me on this one. You're Japanese, so you like to be clean. When you come to Italy and you try the bidet for like longer than a month, you cannot go back. You love it. What do I use it for? Well, every time you go to the bathroom or yeah. every, at like intercourse, you don't have to take a whole shower if you don't need to, but you can like just use that. Yeah, but or you can just wash your 
stuff. Yeah, for I think even for boys that's useful, but for girls, it's a game changer. I love my bidet and I miss it so much whenever I don't have it. Is it true that in Italy, you don't order cappuccino or caffè latte, anything with milk for lunch? Oh my God. You can have cappuccino as a, an afternoon snack, especially if it's winter, you want something hot, but usually cappuccino is for the morning. And definitely, definitely, you don't order cappuccino with your lunch. Cappuccino doesn't go with pasta. So what do you drink with your lunch? Water, wine, beer. If people like soda, they are allowed to have soda. Soda. They're That's allowed it. to have soda. It's not common though. It depends on what you're eating. Like you're having pizza and Coke. Perfect. I don't like soda. I mean, like I drink sparkling water, but I don't like any sugar or anything. So I know you like sparkling water. Yeah, because... It's sparkling. Mm. So sparkling, it's almost salty. I hate that water. Should we pay tip in Italy? That's up to you. It's not like America, so you don't have to tip. You want to leave one euro, two euros, ten euros, fifty. It also depends on the kind of restaurant if it's nicer how much your meal was in japan but, they yeah. literally like run after you with your money and be like you forgot this i love that is it not allowed to buy bread in restaurants to bite bread yeah i'm not sure about the etiquette in italy if you go to a restaurant you usually get a bread right yeah okay usually at the restaurant they don't give you a full loaf it's like usually slices so you can like take a little piece with your hands eat it like this usually we don't do like <sighs> you don't really have that problem in japan because bread is so rare good bread in japan they don't, they don't serve uh, bread in a restaurant they usually serve any uh like otoshi. little appetizers like you gotta pay for it but you can't choose they just serve it oh yeah this is interesting one is it not allowed to touch stores goods without asking um i'd say that it's nicer it's like good etiquette not to touch it if it's something that it's like fragile they usually write do not touch what is it like in japan you can touch and look like even high brand like you can just touch it and and it's not rude well that it depends like if it's clothes for example of course like if it's on a hanger on a rack you have to touch it and like pull it out to look at it but if it's something that is on a shelf i feel like it's usually better not to take it from the shelf is it okay to pay by credit card even if that total amount is really low because in japan you usually use how they say electric like cure pay like your phone yeah, yeah my phone but yeah like there's a qr code then you can actually pay from the qr code huh? we're starting to do that but we're not as advanced thank you but thank you, you from advanced people <laughs> Oh, this, <laughs> I'm sorry, but like when I was living in Japan and it wasn't long ago, you were using cash a lot, way more than Italy. Japan was still like cash based when I was living there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. after COVID happened, you know? Italy. Yeah. Can we drink tap water? That's an interesting question. It depends on the city. It depends on the place. Okay, usually it's not terrible, but some places you should not. In Rome, it's so good. Tap water in Rome is so good. I grew up drinking tap water because it's it tastes good, it's fresh. I live in Tokyo, but I still filter my tap water. This is tap water, but I filter this one. I don't drink tap water in Tokyo because it doesn't taste good. How good is the public safety in Italy when you compare to Tokyo or Japan? Can we walk outside at night? All right, I'd say generally speaking, Italy is a fairly safe country in the sense that it's not too dangerous. It's not one of the, those cities where you walk out at night and you have to always watch your back and like be scared in general. In big cities such as Milan and Rome, there are certain areas where you should not, but they're not touristic areas usually. Pickpocketers, yes, all the time, but it's not about like being kidnapped or, you know, something really bad but Italy is not as safe as Japan. Japan is like one of the safest countries in the world. I could literally like take a walk at night, midnight in Tokyo and I would feel safe. I cannot say the same about Rome. Do you need to pay to use public toilets? It depends. There are some places where you do need to pay and give like one euro or 50 cents, especially if they're in big stations, especially like, yeah, now in Rome, you have to do that too. It's newer. They have nicer bathrooms, clean hand soap and everything. If they're free, usually you won't find toilet paper or soap or anything. If there are no public bathrooms, because I'm sorry, but Japan is Japan. I love bathrooms in Japan. Guys, guys, Japan is the best place for bathrooms you have public bathrooms everywhere they're clean sometimes they even give you pads
pads. I will never forget once I was in Nagano. It was like New Year's period and it was like snowy and I was hiking. I was in the middle of nowhere and I see a little tiny house and I'm like, what's that? It was a bathroom. I was like, bathroom there was nobody there i entered the bathroom there was so toilet paper it was clean i was imagining spiders everywhere or you know spider webs it was a little perfect bathroom in the middle of nowhere Can you, you won't when you're done please i love i love bathrooms in japan because in italy you have to plan your peas when i go out i plan my peas i'm like okay i can pee now in my house then i'm going to the restaurant and i'm gonna pee there then if i go there there's like a cafe I can buy a bottle of water because usually when you go to pee in a cafe you buy something small like a bottle of water you have coffee and then they let you use their bathroom you know in Japan I never play my peas is it rude to sniff your nose uh, yes it is it's better to blow your nose and stop <laughs> sniffing all the time yeah but i have a really bad hay fever so i can't stop sniffing something blow your nose yeah but like i have to keep blowing my nose it's like yeah coming forever then i have to live like okay so yeah. <laughs> okay what what, what what did you say put a put a hay fever mask on the black ones nobody will see it. i usually put tissues on my face <laughs> and the wear mask though so nobody can see my you know those like masks because i'm allergic to pollen too they kind of work i wasn't expecting that in Italy we don't have them in Japan they have like masks for yeah, masks hay fever yeah, for hay fever yeah. tissues <laughs> and a mask is it okay to take pics in a church oh it depends on the church sometimes okay. it is and it's fine and sometimes they ask you like in front of the church please do not take pictures how about dress depends. code any dress code in, in the church some churches they really allow everybody in but in some churches especially in Rome you should not wear something that's above your knee if you're wearing a skirt or shorts they should be like knee length you should not show your shoulders don't cover your head oh this is interesting does this gesture mean your boyfriend or girlfriend is cheating on you yes oh yeah like this not oh, like yeah. this a dog. dog this looks like a fox in japan what is it in japan no Do you we have don't have any gesture but if you are going to see a mistress we often use this gesture oh are you going yeah. to see like, or if it's the boy yeah. like this boy. Yeah. Oh, and this this means to have sex. Yeah, like, uh, what did you do last night? <laughs> Don't you guys wash your hair every day? How often do you wash your hair? Three times a week in... Three times in a week. In winter, in summer, I might do like more because I go to the gym. So every time I go to the gym, I need to wash my hair in summer because I sweat. But usually if you're a boy, I know most boys I know, they wash their hair every day. But most girls I know, they usually don't. Like three, four times a week, that's normal. If you say that in Japan, you'd get like this reaction. Yeah. I'm not talking about taking a shower. Like I take like two showers a day for my body, but like yeah, hair? Yeah, yeah. yeah, hair, yeah. Every day. That's not good for your hair. That's what you guys say, huh? It will ruin your hair. I think there's the, the difference of the hair. Yeah. I know what you mean, like it's different like texture. The, I think your hair, yeah, texture and also your hair is a, a very thin. But look at my hair. My hair is like this. Your hair is like this. Usually Japanese hair tend to be a little more greasy. Uh, yeah. If I wash my hair every day, it gets too dry. Don't say kitanai to me. I'm not. <laughs> I wash my hair like twice a day. With shampoo twice? Once a day with shampoo. Are you ready but to come to Italy now? I'm not sure. You guys don't wash your hair, so. And I'm not uh, convinced about two toilets either. Let's say you go to the bathroom, you go number two, and of course you use toilet paper. But is toilet paper really enough? How do you use soap? You gonna use your hand? First, you use the toilet paper. Then of course you use your hand, but then you, it's clean, then you wash your hands. So you touch me with the hand. <laughs> No, 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 no. Can you wash no, your no, hand? No, 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 no. You take off your shoes on a train. <laughs> I hope that I answered your questions and I'm sure that some of the people who are watching this are like, Sonia, that's not true. I yeah. feel the same. But still, if that's the case, so now we'll read the comments. So leave a comment. Thank you so much. <laughs> watching thank you so much so now and thank i hope for answering okay on a different note cambly the link is down here below <laughs> bye bye Ciao.